The morning of November 19th was thick with fog. At 7.20 a.m., 3,500 artillery pieces on the southwestern and Don fronts commenced an 80-minute long barrage, blasting the Romanian 3rd Army and paving the way for a dozen infantry divisions, three tank corps, and two cavalry corps. Operation Uranus has begun. The Red Army smashed into the Romanian divisions. By mid-morning, the thick fog had lifted and the Red Air Force all along the front was able to commence operations. By noon, the Romanian forces began to disintegrate. On the 20th, the offensive on the Stalingrad front to the south begins. Announced by a thousand Katusha salvos, Operation Uranus on the Stalingrad front was now underway and the race to encircle Stalingrad was on. By November 23rd, the southwestern and Stalingrad fronts link up, Kalach is liberated, and around 300,000 Axis troops are now surrounded around the city of Stalingrad. As the days go on, the ring around the surrounded German forces closes in. The Luftwaffe establishes an air bridge and is attempting to resupply the surrounded Axis forces by air. The VVS flies sorties, smashing the surrounded Axis forces and attempting to intercept their resupply efforts. The Ring of Death closes in on the invaders. Once again, luck was definitely on my side, and I managed to bail out of my lag 3 on September 16th and was quickly rushed to the hospital once again. Thankfully, my injuries this time around were very minor. The stay in the hospital was short, about two days. However, upon my arrival back to the squadron, I was told to pack up my things. The 9th was recalled to the rear of Stalingrad. The squadron would undergo reorganization, and finally, we would be converting to Yak-1 fighters. It was a long two and a half months for me, but admittedly, the relative peace and quiet was very welcome. I took this time to properly rest, and also write home, something I have not had the chance to do in months. Additionally, I spent a lot of time training the newcomers on the Yak-1, which I picked up relatively easily. The Yak-1 fighter was a dream to fly, and by far the best aircraft I have flown thus far in my career. I was rather disappointed, however, I was not on the front when Operation Uranus commenced. On December 10, 1942, the 9th GIAP resumed combat operations as part of the 8th Air Army of the Stalingrad Front. The invaders are currently trapped around Stalingrad. We are to ensure nothing gets in or out. I would be leading the first sortie back on the front lines. Here's hoping it's a successful one. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back to the Skies of Stalingrad with Yuri. This time, however, in Yak-1s. Today, I am leading a flight of six Yak-1s. We have two 100 kilogram bombs strapped underneath our wings. And with those bombs, we are tasked with engaging an enemy convoy inside the Kessel that is running on this north-south road just to the northwest of Potomac Airfield, which we are rather familiar with. It is a fairly distinctive airfield, and there are... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, the guns work. We know that. I just fat-fingered the trigger, so that's fun. Um, that being said, we know the enemy will be operating out of Potomac Airfield, so it should be relatively interesting uh, flying a ground attack sortie that close to the enemy airfield. Also, a lot of these other airfields are operational, like Gumrack, for example, is another airfield that is in heavy use at the moment. The Yak-1 is a pretty fun fighter, though. Overall, I do quite like it. It is the aircraft I have probably flown the most out of all the others thus far in this series. As far as armament goes, we have two 7.62mm machine guns and then one 20mm cannon firing through the propeller hub. Should be more than enough to deal with 109s. Um, so yeah, overall not too shabby. It's a pretty good boom and zoomer as well, which hopefully we will be able to utilize. That being said, I am going to start climbing up 
We are at around 1.1 kilometers up now. I'm gonna climb up to two. We do have a manual supercharger that we can kick over to stage two at an altitude of 2,300 meters. I don't think we are going to get that high today, however. Passing over Stalingrad. It looks pretty good during the winter. I will say the Stalingrad winter map does look quite nice. Overall, I do like flying in the winter maps though. Heading 272, we should be getting pretty close. We are definitely in the pocket now. Another reason I wanted to climb up a bit more was to avoid German AAA. Let's go ahead and open our canopy up. Start looking for Potomac Airfield. Lots of smoke on these small villages. And I think I actually have visual of Potomac. That may be it right there at 11 o'clock. So our convoy should be right off the nose somewhere here. Let's go get it. Okay, we have uh, enemy transport spotted, 12 o'clock apparently. I have no joy. However, that being said, that's the convoy right there, right up, right in front of us. So I am going to give the flight leader orders, orders, attack the nearest ground target. All right, go get them, boys. And we're going to chop our throttle and dive in. I think we'll do a strafing run first and then come around with our bombs. In the Yak-1, we don't have a bomb selector. We just dropped both of our bombs. Okay, something already, someone already blew something up. All right, got a truck. Hit it a bit. Ooh, there we go. A little close. All right, come around to the left. Throttle up. Don't know if there's any enemy AAA out there. Not being shot at yet quite lucky all right we'll come around and bomb down the road maybe try to strafe something again we could have disabled that truck maybe start a little traffic jam no it looks like they're still progressing i lost there's my flight i hope that's a that's a yak for sure okay no it looks like okay there is a truck that has stopped that's the one I hit. All right, let's get ready. Fingers on the bomb release button. Try to line ourselves up nicely. And bombs away. All right, up and to the right. And yeah, that was not a good drop. Bomb skipped as well on the ice. Yeah, not my best work. All right, well, let's shoot up another truck. Got this one that's stationary. Hit it a bit. There's a half track there. All right, come on, guys. Looks like they're they're shooting at something else. All right, whatever. As long as they're hitting something, we'll keep strafing over here. Minimal air resistance. AKA nothing. Uh, knock on wood. I'm not complaining. Objective completed, one destroyed, proc taken out. Beautiful. My flight is still, it looks like they're just bombing Potomac. So I'll let them do that. I am, I am okay with that actually. And now we're able to return to base. Well, we still have stuff to blow up. Still have ammunition. Don't want to go back home with uh, full belts. Another little strafing run on that truck. It is stopped. Okay, I have lights at 12 o'clock. It looks like an aircraft may be landing over here or attempting to land. I have another pair of lights off to one there. Let's go investigate, shall we? Let's see what's going on here. I think that aircraft, is it, has it landed? 
think it might have. All right, well, let's go for the one on the ground, shall we? Let's see what this is. And we'll see how thick AAA is over here. Currently moving at 550 kph. We're definitely a German airfield. And it's pop up, so I can actually get my sight on the target. MC202. And let's get this other one that's currently landing. Where is it? Going head on. Has its lights still on. Hit it pretty hard. There's the rest of our flight. I have eyes on them. They're just kind of hanging out while I rack up a couple more kills, apparently. There we go. This guy's decided to try to fight. Hit him a bit in the tail. Unfortunately, it looks like I hit him pretty good in that first pass. I think the war is over for him. these machine guns. I think I'm out of cannon ammo. And I think that's all she wrote for the MC-202. There we go. Oh, it's still flying. Unfortunately, these machine guns are really not all that. The cannon is the heavy hitter, obviously. out of ammo hopefully get him get him although I think he's going down he could pull out of that oh gosh he did okay uh, flight attack the air target blow him out of the sky please get him Splash. Good job, Pavlov. All right, let's get out of here. I'm going to order my flight to form up on me. And we are going to head on home. We have another sortie planned later for today. I believe it is another ground attack mission. However, I will not be leading it, so we will see how that goes. The first sortie back on the front for the 9th GIAP went remarkably well. Everyone made it back home unscathed and we managed to shoot down three enemy aircraft altogether. Quite the feat. Overall, I thought the Yak handled itself rather well in combat. My only serious gripe is the lack of punch of the two machine guns. I guess I will just have to be more conservative with the use of my cannon. The second sortie for the day had a very similar objective. The ground crew put on two FAB-100s and refueled my Yak. We would be hitting enemy artillery positions inside the Kessel. Here's hoping it goes as well as the first sortie. For the second time today, we are crossing the Volga and heading into the Kessel. We are tasked with bombing enemy artillery positions this afternoon. To do the job, we have two FAB-100 strapped underneath our wings, as you can see. And instead of being the flight leader this time around, I am in the number six position. So here's hoping I do not get bounced and blown to bits. 
our first sortie was rather successful. Everyone made it back home. In total, our flight destroyed three enemy aircraft, which is pretty impressive. Especially considering everyone made it back home, which is quite rare, so. First sortie back on the front went really well. Here's hoping the second sortie back on the front goes rather well for the squadron as well. And uh, we don't get torn up too badly. I do have a feeling it won't go as well. There's no way we'll have two easy sorties in a row. Not over the skies of Stalingrad, that's for sure. Flight leader's breaking. Okay, where are we going? I'll try to stay in formation here. Well, no, guess not. All right, we'll break off. Formation got kind of messed up. Let's space out. Flight leader's breaking up and to enemy fighters. All right, looks like we're dropping bombs. Just gonna try to stay with my flight here. I got someone breaking right, let's go. Enemy flak in the area as well. I still have my bombs. Target destroyed, whoa, okay, something exploded on the ground. Quite a few explosions on the ground. That looks like a BF-109 out there. We still have our bombs. I don't see these artillery positions. I want to drop my bombs on something. There's something. All right, let's go drop our bombs on this. And we'll zoom up and engage the enemy aircraft. Okay, someone's wounded. This is enemy flak battery. Bombs away. Up and out. Climb back up. try to figure out where we're going. Objective completed. Okay, bombs completely fell short. So be it. I got something trailing coolant. That looks like a yak. Is a yak. Let's stick with this guy. Where are we going, comrade? I'm with you. He may be actually heading back home. Wow. Well, this did not go well, did it? Immediately disrupted. That's a 109 right there. He's trailing our friend who's leaking coolant. We're above him. It's passing underneath us. Should see him. There he is. All right, we're diving down on him. It's breaking left. Got him in our sights. Lined up. Yeah, pulling some heavy G here. Come here. Sprinkled with machine gun. Let's hold off on the cannon. Hit him in the tail with a 20 mil. Okay, he's trying to get us to overshoot here. Which, I can't allow that to happen, sir. Sticking on this guy. Probably not advisable. He looks in rough shape. Alright, let's pull up and out. I don't know where the rest of my flight went. Diving back down on the enemy aircraft. His tail is torn to ribbons, as you can see. I wonder if I even have any cannon ammunition left at this point. I think I wasted a lot of it, unfortunately. Let's try. Yeah, we're out of cannon.
Whoa, don't like that. Ooh. That was, could have been very fatal. Well, with no cannon, not sure how effective we're gonna be. This 109 is leaking coolant, right? Or is it just fuel? Let's try to pop his radiator. Uh, it definitely looks like he is leaking, um, leaking coolant as well. And in a 109, that is a death sentence. That aircraft is not gonna last much longer. Let's kick it over. Who knows where the hell the rest of my flight ran off to. Not gonna get a shot there. Let's climb up. Hearing explosions on the ground as well. Oh, it's flak. Going on a head on. No, thank you, Mr. 109. Not interested. Up and around we go. Did I just pilot kill this guy? I believe, I believe this guy's just spinning out of control at this point. I have two more, three, four, how many? What are these? Those are 109. Okay, it's time to go. That's what time it is. It is time to go. We're out of here. It's time to run like hell. That is a flight of four BF-109s. Uh, hello. I fancy seeing you here. All right, we gotta shake them. Head for this, head for the Volga. Close our canopy. We need as much airspeed as we can get. Let's, uh, let's close those radiators too now. Yep, I think it's time to, oh boy. Alright, stuck around a little too long. Who knows where my flight is. Alright. We are moving quickly, over 500 kph. Okay, let's just shut this rad. Hopefully we don't start overheating too much. Let's crack it, just crack it. Okay, we have crossed the Volga, and I think the enemy has broken off, thankfully, and it is now time to head back home. Hopefully the rest of my flight did A-OK, -okay and uh, we're able to make it back home. Who knows? I mean, I had contact with a few of them for a while and then completely lost them. The smart thing to do would have been to break off of that 109 once we uh, popped this radiator and gotten out of there. But yeah, we are out of cannon ammunition. I wonder how much machine gun ammo we have. There's no way of knowing, unfortunately. No ammo counters or anything like that in this aircraft. Regardless, we were pretty lucky there. Looks like my right wing was hit a decent amount. Just sprinkled with machine gun, it looks like. Let's open our canopy. Feels okay. Yeah, feels good in both tanks. Yeah, just uh, just a few holes there, nothing too bad actually. So another okay sortie for us, and I believe we got at least one 109 this time around. So there we go. I am happy with those results overall, and we get to li live to fight another day. Here's hoping the rest of my flight has a similar story. Well, here we are. We have made it to our home of Solodovka. 
And let's go ahead and come in for a landing. Let's see if I can make out the windsock here. Pin. There we go. All right, so we'll come back around. It is quite a windy day today. We'll come around and hopefully have a nice and soft landing with minimal bounces. As long as we don't kill ourselves, that's good. And look who has just arrived. There's my flight. Hopefully that's everyone. We will see though. But wow, the timing was pretty nice, honestly, when my flight showed up. All right, let's go ahead and start dropping flaps a little bit. There we go. Start slowing down. There we go. Perfect. Bring in our throttle back. There we go. Alright. Time to drop gear. Gear down. Perfect. Lined up nicely, looking good. Uh, I guess we can turn on our lights. Perfect. I'm using a uh, new throttle, so starting to get the muscle memory down. All right, let's slow down a bit more. We are going kind of fast. Very fast, actually. I wish I'd slowed down sufficiently in time. Lined up. Give it a little more juice. Little bounce. There we go. Hit the brakes. And we are down. Second sortie back on the front complete. You know, I'm not sure a bit. Perfect. Time to taxi off, and you all know the drill. I will see you all for the debrief. Here we go. Mission accomplished. We were in the air for 31 minutes. We landed successfully and shot down a single aircraft. We can see our flight plan here. Looks like quite a few 109s were shot down, actually. And we were, this is the enemy that we ended up shooting down. And then we went on back home. What's over here? Friendly Yak destroyed. Uh-oh, that's not good. And it looks like this guy went down very close to our home airfield. Let's see who that was. Hopefully they managed to survive. Here we go. We can see everything that happened today. This was our first sortie. It resulted in our squadron shooting down three enemy aircraft, which is really good. We also destroyed two um, vehicles. The second sortie was not as successful. I managed to shoot down a 109. However, the squadron commander was killed in action. That was the friendly yak that went down just outside our airfield. And some of you may have noticed this. It looks like we got a battlefield com promotion here. Yuri assigned the commanding officer of the 9th GIAP. So there we have it. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.